Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I'm going to be doing a Halloween decor update. I have added a couple things, so let's get into the video. So if you can see from right there, there are a couple pieces. There's that little tree, there's a ghost. And then the thing that I really like the most is that welcome sign, which is basically next to the candle holder slash house, which I think actually does go quite well. And then on this side, there's another ghost with a gravestone skull. And then there's a little broom stand with orange and the black cat. And as you can see, I don't know if I showed it last time in the other video, there's a pumpkin. I have my ghost candle over there, which I'm still trying to find a plate to put underneath it so it will catch all the candle that does burn after lighting it. And then I also have, of course, my cauldron right here, which I kind of use as like a place to put my keys and all that. And over here, I kind of did some things a little bit different. So originally, I had the pumpkin over there next to the Alexa and the books, and the little snow globe that I have there. It does light up. I want to show you how it looks like once you shake it. So it's just basically a bunch of bats how it looks like and then that's a snow globe on with the light switch I just haven't set it to do it 24 7 and then I had like this old piece of fabric that I just put on top of the TV to kind of make it look spooky to, as decoration and then I have lights underneath that are really pretty that they are purple so like at night it actually does look kind of nice and I will show you the whole thing lit up in another little short sometime after this video. This is my little bookshelf that I have decorated for Halloween. It has all my fall flowers there. And then it has the two cauldrons. And then it has the pumpkin with the little bat wings, which is cute and adorable. I haven't seen that this year other than... I haven't seen it other than this year. I have the books, another pumpkin, and I also, I was not sure where to put like all these other decorations I had, like the skeletons and the bats. I was thinking of just hanging them on top of, the, or hanging them on the wall, like how some people have the floating hats or the candles, but I just didn't feel like doing that. So I had them on the windows to kind of like add decoration. I feel like that's something that I a witch would probably do in her house. And then the bats are supposed to be just flying around, basically inside. And that is pretty much all the updates. That's the updates for right now. I am still working on outside and I just have to add the inflatables and I will make a video when I finally do that. Here is just couple things. I have a snow globe, another pumpkin, ghost pumpkin, and over there's my candle holder. That one is actually from Bath and Body Works too from last year, which was really hard to get. It's a long story. And then over there, it's like a little, um, I forgot what they're called, but it's kind of like a little display. And then over here, I do like this a lot. It's a skull with a snake. Alright, so don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of that, share this video because I really want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and I will be having more spooky videos out. Thank you.